welcome to my channel today we see single electrode potential the single electrode potential can be called as electrode potential of your off cell you all know what is called off cell suppose if i take a uh, electrochemical cell a electrochemical cell is made up of your two off cells you all know that here we have a electrode dipper in its uh, solution here we have uh, electrode dipper in its solution and both these are connected through a salt bridge all these things you know now we are going to talk about what is that here uh, the electrode potential of this and the electrode potential of this it is called the electrode potential of your off cell we want to find out but uh, the electrode potential of your off cell cannot be directly calculated it has to be made as a complete cell by joining with some uh, reference uh, cell or a standard cell that usually we are using uh, a reference cell as SHE that is called standard electrode potential whose uh, electrode potential value is kept as zero that we will see in the upcoming uh, videos here I am talking about single electrode potential suppose I take uh, what is called single electrode potential I write the definition for single electrode potential what is the definition for single electrode potential right the tendency of electrode tendency of electrode electrode to lose or gain lose or gain electrons when it is in contact with it is in contact with contact with its own ion in solution is called single electrode potential that is called as here single electrode potential uh, one more way is there to uh, define what is called uh, a single electrode potential I, I will tell you here here it is a tendency of tendency means the ability or capacity of an electrode to lose or gain ele electrons some uh, metals uh, when they are uh, kept in its uh, metallic solution uh, that may lose electron uh, some metal uh, when uh, they are kept in uh, its metallic solution uh, they will uh, gain electron that is called the tendency of the electrode to lose or gain that is called the ability right here what what is that uh, one more definition we can say when a metal when a metal is placed or kept in a solution of its own ion ion the metal acquire yeah, either a positive charge or negative charge with respect to respect to the solution in which it is dipped it is one more definition for this that means when a metal is placed in a solution of its own ion suppose i take uh, you see what i am taking example i take here uh, a beaker in this here I, I keep zinc rod zinc rod is kept in this in its solution what is kept in the solution zinc sulfate is kept here it is called zinc sulfate solution solution right i take here one more of fill that is called a single electrode single electrode i take and i keep this here copper rod is it is copper this copper rod is kept in copper sulfate solution these both are not connected that is called open circuit when they are in open circuit what happens means here the potential is developed here the potential is developed the developed potential is called as single electrode potential i will tell you how the potentials will be developed you all know that here there are two different types of potential one is called oxidation potential another one is called reduction potential reduction potential one is called oxidation potential another one is called reduction potential the single electrode potential what is the unit for electrode potential potentials are usually given in si unit volt potential is also given in si unit volt potential difference is also given in the si volt 
uh, unit volt here oxidation potential and reduction potential in this oxidation potential listen to me carefully when a metal is dipped in its solution in its solution which contain its own ion that metal will start to lose electron that is called lose electrons electron but in reduction potential when the metal is kept in its salt solution which contain its own ion suppose i take copper dip in the copper solution what it will happen here means it will gain electron gain electron because of this gain of electron the potential developed is called as a reduction potential because of this loss of electron the potential developed is called as a oxidation potential suppose i take here you see here i take here zinc i take here zinc metal this uh, uh, for a, uh, i take here the zinc metal it is called zinc electrode i take here for this i measure oxidation potential as well as reduction potential for the same metal under the same condition i measure oxidation and reduction potential both these values are having the same magnitude what is the value of this 0.76 volt here also it is 0.76 volt for the same metal whether you are calculating oxidation potential reduction potential under the same condition what happen the magnitude of the values remain same but if it is oxidation potential that is given as positive here for zinc it is given as negative but uh, i am not telling oxidation potential mean that should be in positive reduction potential means it should be in negative some elements may have oxidation potential negative and the reduction potential positive what i want to say here is oxidation and reduction potential of the same element under the same condition the numerical value remain same but what happen sign is changing sign alone is changing is it not here now what i am uh, telling you the how the single uh, electrode uh, potential uh, develops how the single electrode potential develops uh, you see i take here it is a zinc rod i keep this here zinc rod in its zinc solution it's a zinc solution i keep it in here zinc sulfate solution sorry zinc sulfate solution when the zinc rod is kept in zinc sulfate solution you see any metal is uh, uh, it's a solid it is uh, considered to be the assemblage of metal ions assemblage of metal ions and the electrons so electrons and uh, uh, electrons and uh, metal ions are present in any metal the uh, electrons and metal ion uh, uh, a collection is there it is a collection of metal ion and electron when uh, i keep the zinc uh, in zinc sulfate solution what will happen you see that here what will happen in this case here mean the metal um, ion present in the metal will start to come out from this will start to come out from this is it not here then uh, uh, then right uh, the next stage of this after the positive on some number of here positive zinc ion comes out uh, what will happen to this what will happen to this here i take the same rod it is a rod in which you see uh, some of the positive on lift that positive on lift it comes out it positive on lift it comes out here it is here what is this your uh, it is then i take here initially zinc i dip in zinc sulfate solution zinc metal is a assemblage of collection of zinc metal ion and electron when it is kept in zinc sulfate solution what will happen some of the zinc metal ion from its surface from this metal comes out as z2 plus ion all these are coming out as z2 plus ion and Uh, uh, coming out as certain two plus ion, the electrons left there itself. Electron will there itself. Now you see, uh, uh, if I keep this, if I zinc, if I keep it in zinc sulfate solution, what will happen? The zinc rod is getting negative charge, and around this, what is formed here means positive charge is formed. This is formed. It is zinc. You see, I take it zinc is. suppose i take here i will tell you the definition for single electrode potential i take here copper rod i take copper i take a copper rod and keep this here copper rod in copper sulfate solution it is copper sulfate solution 
copper rod is made up of a copper metal ion and electron because all the metals are uh, considered to be the assemblage of or the collection of a metal ion along with electron and we say like this a metal ions are fixed and the electrons are moving uh, uh, here and there that we say in the sea of electron metal ions are present right i take here metal ions something like this this what will happen in this solution what is present here means copper 2 plus ion is present copper 2 plus ion is there that is the copper 2 plus ion present in copper uh, sulfate copper 2 plus ion is there during this process what when i keep this what will happen the copper 2 plus ion will move towards this move towards this when the copper 2 plus ions are moving towards this what will happen in this case the copper 2 plus electron will pick up 2 2 electron from this it will take 2 2 electron from this and it is becoming copper it will take 2 2 electron from this and it is uh, becoming a uh, copper it is becoming after this what happens in this case here i get here it is copper it is copper and this one what we see here means then uh, here this copper 2 plus ion it is getting uh, taking electron from this after this after this what will happen it is left with positive charge you see here you see the the layer present on this metal is positive here you see the layer present on this one is here negative and around this what we see here positive around this what we are going to see here sulfate ion that is negative here it is negative here negative so here negative sign uh, uh, on the metal around this we have here positive here the positive on the metal around this what we have here means negative these are the two cases if it, it happens like this if it happens like this what did here mean this is called oxidation happens it is called oxidation happen zinc is losing 2 2 electron and it is becoming z2 plus ion it is called oxidation if it is happening like this that is called as here reduction is happening reduction happens now I, once again you see i am uh, clearly telling oxidation happens due to the uh, oxidation process uh, the potential developed is called their oxidation potential uh, due to uh, the reduction uh, the potential uh, developed is called their reduction potential it is called reduction potential then it is called their oxidation potential what is called oxidation potential I, I will tell you the definition for this now you see here it is a negative charge here it is negative charge this arrangement is similar to the capacitor you all know it is similar to capacitor in which here two uh, charged layers are there here the first layer is here negative and the second layer is positive so we say a, a electrical double layer is formed here the electrical double layer is formed here also the electrical double layer is formed layer is formed if once the electrical double layer is formed electrical that is electric charge then here the potential is developed here due to the presence of collection of more number of negative sign negative charges a potential is developed around this what we have here means we have here around this here collection of positive charges there one potential is there in between these two potential the difference is called as here potential difference that potential difference this is called as here potential difference that potential difference is called as here single electrode potential of zinc or that potential difference is called as here single electrode potential here i take here a uh, first layer is positive what is our second layer it is a negative so first layer is positive around this we have here positive on this another negative here a, a positive layer is formed so it is called as here potential accumulation of charges so because of this accumulation of charges a, a, a potential is developed here this is a potential in between these two potential the difference is called as here potential difference this is named as here potential 
is called potential difference it is called potential difference that's all uh, about this uh, potential difference the potential difference is usually represented uh, by the si unit called zv already i told you the single electrode potential cannot be uh, calculated but it can be made as a cell a cell electrochemical cell you all know that here if it is anode usually if i take here any electrochemical cell here here this is on off cell this is on off cell these two we are going to connect through salt bridge i will tell you uh, what is called salt bridge it it, it is it is bridge which links which allows uh, uh, the ions to go from here to here or here to here it is it is allowing ions to exchange but no liquid uh, is exchanging from this to this it it, uh, it maintains the neutrality if neutrality is maintained then only we get here continuous flow of current so that we use here uh, salt bridge here uh, what we keep usually in the left hand side in the electrochemical cell that is called anode right hand side what we call that is called cathode but in electrolytic cell the anode is represented by positive here it is represented by negative here cathode there in electrolytic cell it is represented by negative but here it is positive so anode means negative cathode means positive here suppose i, I ask uh, like this here uh, the anode in electrochemical cell is represented by dash sign negative cathode why it is represented by negative because in this here the layer present on uh, the layer present on this electrode is negative so it is represented as negative why it is called positive you see the layer present on uh, this metal is positive so it is called as here positive it is called cell if i take here e cell e cell means you all know that here potential of the cell is equal to it is the electrode potential of anode plus the electrode potential of cathode or we can write it is uh, the electrode oxidation potential it is electrode of reduction potential or we can go for one more uh, definition or uh, one more equation for e cell that is equal to e cathode minus e anode or it is right it is left or it is reduction it is oxidation this right left it says right means right hand side left means left hand side or e cell can be calculated by having uh, oxidation reduction potential you add this both the potential are added that we get here uh, e cell or we can go for take the reduction potential of a cell subtract the oxidation potential of the cell r means the cell of cell present in right hand side uh, l means the of cell present in the left hand side thanks for watching my video